Belmont, once people figure out how to get in, especially like the whole one arm, two arm thing, then we'll truly find out how good the character is. With that being said, we're going into Sensei and Slam. And Sensei going as DSS. Now, this is gonna, now, I feel like this would be the true test right now for Slam of how good, how good can you really keep out a character? Falcon's a very good character at closing space, but ZSS does have better tools than better tools than Falcon when it comes to closing space. You have the foot click, you have the nair. Uh, she can edge guard you like that, even if you don't even get the second hit of forward air. You know, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for me than, than Falcon. But like, since ZSS has more varied approach options. Uh, but with that being said, Slam calling out that uh, early, early recovery and obliterating his job. Oh, did you die? Oh no, you didn't die. Good DI coming out from Slam. Doing a lot of work right now. Both good players. Okay. I'm here. Hello. Oh, you I'm I'm here. You're here. We're all here. Everybody's here. Hello, sir. How's it going? Oh, it's gone. It's just I watched the previous set of uh, Slam Jamicus. Good name, by the way. Uh, and the the foul. Uh, uh, Gatsby. And oh boy, it was it was a time. A good time arguing with John that I think Min Min's actually a legitimately good character. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're saying right now that Min Min has, a, has to deal with a character like ZSS and has to deal with another character that's going to be in your face. But, like, you know, I was saying earlier, I feel like ZSS is going to be a harder test because ZSS is less linear approaching than Falcon, and so... It's gonna be a true test of like, can you keep out this fast character? Yeah, and ZSS is overall just less exploitable. Like she can get around all she can get around the basic stuff that Minmin's figured out day one of like if we angle ram ram down, characters can't get to ledge, but ZSS doesn't have to go to ledge. Mm. So you should ignore disadvantage. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, this is right, though. But right now, um, you're seeing Slam kind of keeps Sensei out for the better part of that stock. My man's really hit him with a roll behind grab as DSS. Interesting, interesting take. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. Yeah, um, that was good stuff. I mean, full kick. Full um, kick. That was good <laughs> the stuff I can say, Sensei. Um, and sometimes, like, I understand when ZSS is grab people at the ledge and throw them forward to try to get a tech day situation, but man, there's part of me that thinks that you can just throw Min, Min off the stage and like accidentally hit her and she dies. So Yeah, it's there's a really a certain extreme to it, but if you take Min Min's jump, like it's over. Like it doesn't matter what part of the hit landed, it doesn't matter when you hit it. Like, as long as she doesn't have any sort of way to get verticality, which is exclusively her double jump, then she should just be dead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also need, I need to learn the name for these things. So the big the spiky ball is Megawatt? Yeah, okay. the big, the bowling ball is Megawatt. Uh, the disc is a Ram Ram, Ram, Ram so. and the dragons are just dragons. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. The dragon right. is Trogdor. Trogdor? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how you, I guess. It's the, it's the beefy arm. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, we're going back to PS2. What do you think about going right back to PS2? Uh, I feel like this is probably just the last remaining stage that uh, Slam might be comfortable on. Like, Mimin still wants a lot of center stage space and PS2 being super wide benefits that to a really good degree. Um, but the thing about being a New Jersey player is because of the limited rule set, you have to be comfortable on 
PS2, regardless of the character you play, regardless if you think it's good for the character or not, you just have to be comfortable on PS2. And yeah. that's... Like, uh, <laughs> Sensei almost always takes people to PS2 when he can. Mm, you're dead. Yeah, and... <laughs> you are dead, sir. Uh... I, I, you know, you know, and I, I understand that, and I think, um, oh, did you die? Okay. And... <laughs> too far, a little bit too far. What? Okay, cool. Take those. Wow. I've seen, I've seen Slime hit that megawatt, that megawatt in air in imagination so many times. It seems like there's so many good follow-ups off of hitting that air over Especially zero. Yeah, it's surprising in similar way to how like Steve's early combo like uh, developed really quickly. Uh, so did Min Min's, but uh, with things like uh, just getting uh, Nair into falling up air into oh wow, you died there too. Holy moly! Nair? <laughs> yeah, he was holding it. That was yeah, but that was Ram Ram there. No, that was that was Mega that was Mega One there. That was Mega One. <laughs> Are you sure? I feel yes, like... I'm very sure. Ram Ram there does not kill. That's what I was thinking. Let's see. Look at that, it's a ball. Oh, that was it the back hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, that's why I didn't think it was it was the megawatt. Cause I'm like, I saw I already saw him swing and miss that. Like I couldn't have been megawatt here. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's a I'm I keep telling I keep telling players like what makes Min Min different from a whole bunch of characters that want to like they have a whole bunch of tools to keep you out, but then nothing to let you to a whole bunch of tools to zone, but nothing to get you out of their zone when you break it. Uh, Min Min's Nair and Up Smash just fill that void so well. Because Up Smash, frame 7, super tall, uh, can and you can combo out of it, and it's a really incredible anti-air. Hits behind you, as we saw in the last set, uh, and then like that behind uh, diagonal space. Uh, and Nair is just huge, it lasts forever. Uh, if you're really struggling for kills as Min Min, then you can just mash Ram Ram, uh, not Ram Ram, mash Megawatt Nair, and it will eventually kill. <laughs> Especially on ZSS being so light. Yeah, and you know, I think I think something that's even better than I actually think Min Min's super jump is a really good way to get for her to get out of there. Like that super jump has been utilized by by Slam in so many situations when it comes to when it comes to punishes, when it comes to edge guarding, when it comes to like getting out of disadvantage to a certain extent. Like yeah, I know it has invincibility coming up around for a couple frames, correct? I'm wrong. Um, but, uh, uh, yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Nimbus does have some of those tools. And the character is still cool with it, it's Pac-Man. Pac-Man has a lot of those, like, get off me tools. <laughs> also, Pac-Man is a really good character. So, oh, yeah. like, from a, from a character that needs zone, if you have some of those tools, then, like, you have to be at least decent, right? Yeah, it's it's really what separates, like, the mid-tiers, the mid-tier zoners, um, like, Duck Hunt or, like, Banjo, just to name, like, just to think of a few off the top of my head, which struggle a lot more up close than they do far away when they, when it's not on their terms to a character like Pac-Man or Rob, where they have, like, you know, these quick buttons that can start combos and reset you in either advantage or in neutral. Um, mm -hmm. You're just insanely quickly. And Min Min, I feel like, has those tools, because we do see the combos out of there. Uh, we do see the combos, like, out of just a, a shield grab or a pivot grab, like, retreating buttons leading to massive damage, and more importantly for Min Min, an incredible amount of space. Yeah. And with that being said, okay, okay. Well, uh, with that being said, I was just going to talk about Slam, just holding center stage, right? Just holding center position. It's funny, right? And um, so there's no fighting games. They'll, they'll say stuff like, you know, stand, stand under the numbers, right? Stand under the numbers, like stand mid stage, right? If you, you know, if you want to keep like good distance there for your opponent, try to keep them at bay, right? Right now, he's standing. He's literally just standing. Right to the side of one of those edge of the platforms, just holding, holding it, throwing out Nair, throwing out the forward smash arms, right? And yeah. making it really hard for Kitsu. That's why I'm, I'm kind of questioning the battlefield pick. Like, normally it is a very traditionally super good ZSS stage. Uh, but with the smaller center stage that you have here, it just makes ZSS, uh, once she falls behind, it makes it a whole lot harder to get in on Min Min because that entire space is just constantly covered with these uh, uh, jump ram ram or jump megawatt tilts 
and the Hub no, Smash is incredible. And Minmin never needs to commit. Those, those, that, the super jump dragon shots are crazy. And they auto Ooh. home in like such a crazy angle, or crazy angles, because they don't, don't track super far. I'm, I'm surprised that Sensei did not get a harder punish off that. that. That was like the crazy bait, and then just didn't punish it at all. Like the jab, jab, wait for something, wait for up smash out of shield, and just didn't punish it at all. I'm like, bro, oh, that's exactly what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like Sensei tunnels sometimes, like he'll tunnel on a specific type of punish that he wants. Uh, you'll see this a lot with Snake, uh, where he'll, like, I'm looking for down throw up tilt. Like, I'm looking for, well, most of the time it's up tilt. But, like, you, it's that type of idea where, like, he'll focus really hard on, like, this is a way to kill people. I need to kill them with this. And that's one of his big struggles as a player. It's like sometimes he can get hung up on these certain ideas, which is why learning a character like ZSS, who has a much more free flow kind of neutral, and you can't rush things too much, is better for his development as a player. Yeah, makes sense. You know, get a different perspective on things. Yeah, because Snake just oh. plays a different game. <laughs> Snake's not playing Smash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but with that being said, right now, um, it seems like a pretty even game. Um, Sensei actually did pick it up in that second stop and close the gap that um, Plan was building. So. And oh, you're what? Yo, okay. The way Slammage using these, these super jumps is like pretty creative, man. Yeah, it really gives a lot of burst movement to a character that doesn't have a lot of burst. And he's covering yeah, jumps yo. so well. What the hell? I'm not gonna lie. I did not think I'll get this enjoyment of, of watching this character, but this is hilarious. Okay, because the way so he's been doing this the whole tournament. Slam has just been jumping up and just deterring anybody from going high. Like, are you sure you want to go high? I have the dragon and the dragon shot. Are you sure you want to go high? I have the ram ram covering up like half the distance in the air, right? <laughs> yeah, he's he, you always see him like Sensei's off stage. Let me jump above the battlefield platform and throw out one of my arms. Let me just have a hitbox here because flip kick is such an appealing option. Yeah, and the thing about it is, if he did, if he did clip flip kick. Then once you clip flip, you clip flip kick once, you cannot do it again. So that's just that's already an option off the table. Especially if you clip ZSS from deep with you know clipper flip kick flip kick from deep, you're dead. So that's oof. Yeah, it's like it's really it's really interesting to see like how they're playing how they're playing around not only one of Min Min's biggest weakness, like these this like air to air style combat, but arguably one of the best characters at it and it's being very preemptive with a lot of their strikes and only putting out one of the arms at a time because when you throw out one arm it has a significantly less amount of end lag as composed of putting out both arms meanwhile mm. do we do see the snake yeah, we see the snake and I don't know, I mean, I don't know about this matchup yet, but I feel like on paper that Min, Min would do well against Snake also. Um, but right now, you know, Sensei is doing a really good job at just throwing everything at Min, Min. Yeah, we're gonna see all of it in the kitchen sink, and it's a new way to deal with Min, Min. Instead of trying to evade the arms, let's see if we try and climb with them and see how they fare with something like that. Yeah, that's the C4 right in the middle of the stage. <laughs> Destroyed the Cypher, but he got the air dodge first. Yeah, and I know, um, I've something that I have, I've seen the Ram Ram kind of like destroy the Cypher like, pretty handy. In a lot of places that I've seen. Oh, there's a C4 on that platform. Okay. Yeah, um, really early retreat there from Sensei. I thought he would try and approach with something more aggressive since he had broken the zone. No, I mean, I, I, I do kind of like that retreat option coming out from Sensei because it's showing a little bit of restraint. And because what because what could happen is if you don't if you don't show some of that restraint, you can. Um, Slime has shown the tendency to like put people like nair at a shield and make people like, go. So I, I do like that a little bit of pain. 
interesting. I, I kind of like. I mean, it, it's obviously working out well, super now. It's super, working out super well right now, but. I think the snake pick, in theory, just makes a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Like, you're able to counter zone super well. Um, like, snake has a whole lot of horizontal control. Like, his stage control is one of the best in the game, outside from that character like Min Min. So if you're able to make Min Min start jumping and make her uh, start shielding and avoid, avoid use of arms and make them consider things like grenade, then... Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> then the power of Snake can really come through the next to his sheer damage output. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, oh, man. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was really good by Sensei to keep going up. Okay, because that could have been really bad. Oh, you cannot get away! What are you air dodging for? <laughs> Try to get away. I appreciate it. That's what you gotta do sometimes. There's, there's, there's the four under that platform. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I would I'd always wait for something to get a battle. Like, oh, did you see that later? Yeah, it's like once both players hit center stage, like it, the angle, the camera angle just obscures it just right. <laughs> yeah. And that's nothing. You have to be very aware. Oh, did he? How would you expect that? Yeah, it's a 348. That's good. Okay, yeah. yeah. Even game right now, like, Slam bringing this back, and this could be game point for Slam right now. I mean, this, could, this could be set there. And it doesn't doesn't take much, right? Megawatt has infinite kill power, but we see him switching to Ram Ram a little bit. And this is something, you know, and that, this is, oh no, you go past that. This is something that Gatsby caught on to earlier. The thing about minimum zoning is that like once you get once you throw out that one arm, right, the second arm is always active, right? Yeah. So what you can do is wait for Minmin to throw out that second arm and then roll in to punish Minmin, right? Yeah, I roll Yeah, I completely agree. Guys. So once blocking the with the uh, with a couple exceptions, because in the case of powered up dragon. Uh, yeah, the power right-handed dragon and a megawatt smash. You can break a shield from full. However, these are very specific instances and only on only during the 20 seconds after you get a grab. So it's a little bit niche. But if you're able to time out some of these arms and jump out a shield as you're waiting for the as you wait out the stagger, then some of Minmin's pressure can seem a little bit more fake than it actually is. Because if they commit to one arm, then the other arm has to go either forward or backwards from that position. There is yep. no diagonal. Mm hmm Yeah. And I think that's something that once people get used to the character online and offline, probably a little bit less online than offline, right? That you can learn to try to exploit or learn to fight against that. Um, and that's gonna be one of that's gonna be one of the factors when it comes to how viable Min Min will be coming down the stretch in the meta. Um, yeah. The counterplay to that, like, as a Min player. Or how to, how to make that situation less likely to happen. So. Yeah, I think as the meta develops, she's going to be one of the best counterpick characters in the game. Because when she wins a matchup, she really oh, wins yeah, a matchup. Yeah. It's like a Richter thing. Like, Richter, there are certain matchups as Richter. It's kind of just like, wow, this is a... This is a video game? Like, you're just, you're playing against somebody like, maybe like Luigi, or like, where you're just throwing out the whip and Luigi's just like, please stop. Like, I'm, I'm only a brother to a main character, like. <laughs> I'm not a real main character, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you, like you even you even see it uh, online currently with uh, players like the Buzz and Esam trying to figure out and see what like meta relevant online and offline characters that Min Min excels against with uh, Esam picking up a win on uh, Riddles is I think Ryu uh, in a counterpick situation uh, doing well against Best Ness's Nest like. Min Min, when Min Min does really well, it really seems like you just can't stop whatever the character is trying to do. But if she loses a matchup, it could be real hard. Like, 
rats must be hell. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, and th th this is kind of what a true zoner looks like, like a true true zoner. Zoner. I feel like Smash has a bunch of hybrids, right? Like yeah. not really true zoner. I feel like Richter's probably the only true zoner that we have in this game. The rest are kind of hybrids. Um, but this is like another just true zoning character. You're gonna have polarizing matches and polarizing situations, right? Where like you have a character like Snake who's gonna constantly just throw stuff at you because the arms are just annoying, right? Like he doesn't want to deal with that. And right now it's a situation where very literally since it's on the other side of the stage just throwing grenades and um, mosquitoes trying to see what happens. Yeah, there's a lot of characters and in that hybrid sense because their their win condition inevitably is to try and get in to do most uh, the most damage that they can. Min Min and a character like Richter always keep you at that arm's length. Their win condition is to keep you out, not to poke your their way to their own openings. And right now, um, oh man, I was just about to say, I, I want to see if Slam tries to go high. Yeah, because those arms been, are kind of long. Yes, I think he's been doing that the last couple of times, like dating back to last game. I wanted to see if um, I can that out, but like good stuff. I uh, I've got a little bit of patience. That's kind of a rough position to be in at high percent because uh, most of the time those C4s are meant to be the deterrent for approaching Snake in midair like that, but arms go far and you have to just kind of hope they clang in some cases. Clang, clash. Yeah. Mm, clang. <laughs> Deciding mid set which word to use. <laughs> I mean, you have to keep those things going on. You have, you have to pull out all the SAT words. Um, yeah, vocabulary, everybody. Vocabulary, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a functioning adult. <laughs> uh, but right now, um, Sensei has a slight disadvantage right now. Um, and now he's really showing his patience, and I'm really liking that. I feel like sometimes he gets caught up into this whole tempo thing, and doesn't hold back to see what's going to happen. I'm kind of liking that. Um, Clam Tilt is really doing some job. He's in my face. Yeah, Slam has counteracted the... Um, he's counteracted Sensei's own, like, passive taste with his own realization that, hey, I don't need to rush things like, he's gonna throw grenades, but Snake's eventually gonna want to get in. And I can poke much better than he can because Nikita takes so long. That was an accident. I know that was a mistake. I know he tried to end that Nikita early. Yeah, he's gotta get this kill here. and Don't let Min Min back on stage. Oh, that, that recovery. Okay. Yes. So, fun fact, everybody. While Min Min's tether <gasps> range... I, I think that could have been death, but while Min Min's tether range is the shortest out of all the tether characters, uh, her going from the initial grab to snapping to ledge is the quickest. So once she's able to get to ledge, she could get there quick. Okay, man. The adaptation. So every single time that uh, Sensei was throwing out that uh, order, uh, but I just started rolling in, so he was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna do another one. I'm gonna do one and turn on an up tilt and kill you. That was a great adaptation. Yeah, he needed that kill soon. 74 is quite a bit. But this could be the start. A nice trap. Never mind. Ooh, and, ooh you know what sucks about that one? Um, he actually probably would have jumped over that megawatt if it wasn't for that Nikita extended the hitbox. Excuse me. Just all, all these little things are starting to slip out of Sensei's grasp. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't take much to. Oh, man. That was funny. That was funny. Yeah, that was your chance. Now you're back. Now you're back at the ledge. You're gonna have to go high. Hopefully, we can Back in the corner. Slam is reaching for that. Oh, no! That's you. Look at the small. Oh, no. He doesn't have a jump. He doesn't have a... Oh, he does. Oh, that down smash covered? Okay, let's have... How is he going to get back right now? Let's try it again. Yeah, he rolled back! <laughs> oh, no, you rolled back. And 
I was so ready for Sensei to find to catch on to the fact that like when he's standing in that position, um, most often Slam would roll. Sam would neutral gun. Like they would neutral gun up, especially now since the last stock uh, Sensei caught uh, Sensei caught Slam rolling. So the neutral gun up was the safest thing that he could have done in that moment. And he was caught once. I was like, man, he's gonna commit to that neutral gun up. But the roll back in fear, the uh, where the uh, this being scared of Minmin just like pressing a button, the rolling away from Minmin is not. I think that was the back. He was scared of the back throw. That's why he didn't want to get hit by. Like true, that, was, true, that true. was definitely that was definitely like I'm rolling back. I don't want to get back thrown. And like, um, woof, that was rough, man. That was a great set. Game five, last hit. Um, you know what's scary? I, I don't. Yeah. I don't even know if the uh, the rollback would have avoided the Min Min's grab. <laughs> no, I I think it would have. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, wait, never, 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 never mind. Yeah, no, San, no, San, no San, that's the thing. Sensei spades out that down smash like really well, right? Like he 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 was cut with that down smash. He actually covered, he actually covered standard get up and roll in with that down smash. 